Hey! Hey! You are never gonna believe who I just ran into today. Who? Your old flame, Gail Cunningham. Did you talk to her? Well, I was on my way to the Y, and I saw her coming towards me. I didn't know what to do. Because I remember you had three dates with her, and she wouldn't kiss you goodnight. Well, so what happened? Yeah, you know, she sees me, and she goes, ooh, ah! <laughs> you know, like, like nothing happened. You know what I did? I snubbed her. <laughs> what do you mean you snubbed her? I walked right by her, <laughs> never said a word. <laughs> right by her? Right by her. <laughs> what do you say about a guy like this, huh? Yeah. You are some great yeah. friend. Uh, I thought I'd find you here. Well, Gail Cunningham. Hi, Gail. Hi, Elaine. Nice to see you. Hey, what is with your friend, Kramer? Why? He snubbed me. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. So I want to know, why did Kramer do that? I don't know. Once he leaves the building, he's out of my jurisdiction. Well, tell him that I am mad at him. All right. Hey, buddy, I got something to tell you. Hey, no, one second. Hold on. Now get off that easy. Come on. Tell me what you thought. Well, you know. I just Gail. kissed Gail Cunningham. <laughs> you what? Yeah, I kissed her. You kissed her? Right on the mouth. What kind of great friend are you? How do you go from snubbing to kissing? Well, you know, I saw her outside the Y. You know, she came up to me. She started yelling, you know, because I snubbed her. And uh, then, uh, you know, we started talking a little bit, and I, I walked her to her building. And just before I left, I put my arm around her waist. I pulled her to me, and I, I planted one. <laughs> women, they like that. Yes, I understand women. The snub is good. They love the snub. Yeah. Come in. Come hi. In. Hi, I, hi. I, hi. I'm awfully sorry to make you come up here, but I, I really wasn't feeling well enough to go back to the office, and, uh, well, it's the only chance I have to meet with you this week. Are you all right? Well, it's my stomach. I think there must have been something in the pasta primavera I had for lunch. Oh, <laughs> we, we better get started. My daughter's going to be here soon. Oh, you have a daughter. Hello. Oh. Hi. hi. I'm Molly. Ah, I'm Jerry. Uh, George. Uh, we're here discussing our script with your father. Daddy, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, sweetie. Uh, I'm fine. Oh. You know, suddenly, suddenly I'm in the mood for pasta primavera myself. <laughs> Get a good look, Costanza. It was cleavage. I couldn't look away. What am I waiting to win an Oscar here? This is all I have in my life. <laughs> looking at cleavage is like looking at the sun. You don't stare at it. It's too risky. You get a sense of it, then you look all away. Right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, she's something, huh? She's a wild one. She's wearing me out. She is. Sensual, mm. you know, with the cooking and all. You know, it's a funny thing because after the pilot got canceled, we hadn't heard from you. We didn't hear anything. Didn't know. We're wondering what happened. Well, it, it just didn't seem to be the right project for us right now. <laughs> be because if, if I'm if I'm looking straight ahead and something enters my field of vision. That, that, that's merely a happenstance. Look, under the circumstances, I don't really feel that we should be in business together. If it had anything at all to do with what you perceived as me leering at your daughter, I, I really have to take issue with that. I did not leer. Did I leer? No, leer. Uh, excuse me. Um, <clears throat> are you using that ketchup? Uh, no. You know, I had the hardest time trying to get some out. I mean, I just kept pounding and pounding on the bottom of it. Did, did, do you ever have any trouble? No. Do you have a ketchup secret? No. I don't have a ketchup secret. <laughs> because um, if you do have a ketchup secret, I would really, really like to know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Field of vision, huh?